Hello everyone! In this video I am going to talk about things to buy before you get a Maine Coon kitten. This has been a highly requested video and this video can apply to any kitten but will be more aimed to those getting Maine Coons. Please keep in mind that these are my own personal recommendations. Please don't feel like you need to go out and buy everything in this video. These are just some things that we use often with our Maine Coons and they work well for us. We have three purebred Maine Coons and in this video Luna will be my helper. She will be my little model. She just turned four months old so she is still a kitten. Our other Maine Coon, Albus, is eight months old and he's still a kitten too even though he doesn't look like one anymore. I always recommend getting everything that you can before you bring home a new kitten. It makes it so much easier when you bring them home to not have to worry about getting stuff. If you buy everything first, then you can enjoy your kitten when you bring them home and you won't feel stressed about buying everything. Now I didn't buy everything in this video before we got our kittens because I have learned a lot from having our cats. So a lot of these items were purchased after getting our cats. But I did try to buy as many things as I could that I knew about before we brought home our kittens. So I hope this video will be helpful to those looking to get a Maine Coon kitten. The first thing I would recommend is starting with the basics. So get your kitten's food, bowls, and litter. These are things your kitten needs every single day. The next thing I would recommend is getting a water fountain. A water fountain is good because running water is appealing to cats. A large litter box. You will need a large litter box for a Maine Coon. Always check the dimensions of something if you are buying it online because pictures can be deceiving. Don't forget a litter scooper and a litter mat. We have a litter robot for our cats and they all share it. We change out the bag every other day. Now I'll say the rest of the items in no particular order. A large cat tree or scratching post. Cats have a natural need to scratch, so if you want to protect your furniture or your carpet, then I highly recommend getting a cat tree or a scratching post. A cat tree provides your cat their own space to sleep and play. You will need a large cat tree for your Maine Coon because Maine Coons are large cats. We love the company Cat Tree King, which is where we got this cat tree from. We have several cat trees from them and they are very sturdy and large for our cats. They are expensive, but they are worth it. We have gone through a lot of cat trees in the past with our Maine Coons that we ended up getting rid of because they were too small. Investing in a good cat tree will save you money in the long run. A good cat brush. We love our cat's liquor brushes by the brand Safari. We got these from Chewy.com and they work great for long and short haired cats. These brushes don't damage their coats. When you get a Maine Coon, brushing becomes part of your routine, so it's important to get a good brush. Brushing helps reduce shedding and it helps their fur to not be knotted. Brushing them when they are kittens helps them to get used to it and it makes it easier to brush them when they become adults. Cat nail clippers. We trim our cats' nails every two weeks. Our cats are indoor cats and we trim their nails because it makes them more comfortable and it helps them to not scratch us when we hold and play with them. We trim Luna's nails every week because she is a growing kitten. It's good to get your kitten used to as many things as you can while they are young. We got these cat nail clippers from Chewy.com. A carrier. You can buy a hard or soft carrier for your kitten. Carriers are good for car rides or trips to the vet. They keep your cat safe. It's good to get them used to being in a carrier when they're kittens so they aren't afraid to be in one when they get older. Shampoo and cleaning wipes. Maine Coons get messy from time to time. 
All cats are individuals, but Molly and Luna are very messy cats. They get poo stuck on their hind legs and tails often, and sometimes the only way to clean them fully is to bathe them. We bathe all of our cats every few months and give them sanitary trims. This is our own personal choice. Our cats have gotten used to having baths since the day we brought them home. Cleaning wipes are also great for wiping messes off your cat. We use these cleaning wipes almost daily for Molly and Luna, and these wipes make our lives easier. Treats. Treats are good to have for training and rewarding your kitten. Our Maine Coons are obsessed with food and treats. They go crazy for them. We give our cats treats after we give them a bath or after we trim their nails so that they look forward to it and it makes it a positive experience for them. Our cats love these treats and I get these from Chewy.com. Cat scissors. If you plan on giving sanitary trims, then I recommend getting a pair of cat scissors. We trim the area around our cats' bums every few months so that it stays clean back there. I highly recommend doing this if you get a Maine Coon kitten. We also use these scissors for cutting knots out of Molly's fur. Molly has curly fur on her belly and she will get knots occasionally, so we carefully cut her knots out with these scissors. Lint rollers or a pet hair remover roller. These are amazing for getting fur off of your clothes, furniture, or cat trees. We use lint rollers daily in our house because our cats shed a lot. I also love this pet fur remover roller and I use it to clean our couch and our cat trees. A good vacuum. One of the ways we keep our house clean is we vacuum every week. We vacuum our entire house. Maine Coons shed a lot and you don't want fur all over your house. Beds and blankets. If you live somewhere cold, it's good to have beds and blankets for your kitten to snuggle up inside. Our Maine Coons like sleeping in these calming beds when the weather is cold. Blankets are also good to put inside of your carrier. Towels. If you plan on bathing your kitten, then you will need a towel. We got ours from Chewy.com. These are microfiber towels. They dry fur fast. It's nice for your kitten to have their own towel so that your towels don't get fur all over them. Ear cleaners. We clean our cats' ears often. Kittens can be messy, so I think it's good to have something to clean their ears with. A no scratching spray. This is a good thing to have so you can train your kitten not to scratch or bite certain things such as your couch, cords, or carpet. This one we have smells of citrus and cats do not like that smell, so they stay away from it after we spray it. You may have to spray it several times until your cat gets the hang of it. Harnesses and leashes. If you want to bring your kitten outside, then it's a good idea to train them how to wear a harness and walk on a leash. We put harnesses on each of our cats when they were kittens in order to get them used to it. Remember that kittens don't come trained, and you have to show them how to do things. I'd recommend putting a harness on your kitten inside your house first to let them get used to the feel of it. A toothbrush and toothpaste. This helps to maintain clean and healthy gums. A flea comb. It's good to check for fleas after bringing your kitten outside. Our cats are indoor cats, but we check them for fleas whenever we bring them back from being outside. A toy bin. This is a nice thing to have for putting all of your cats' toys inside of. It helps their toys to stay organized and it looks nice. Cat accessories and clothes. Bow ties, bandanas, hats, and sweaters can be fun to put on your kitten for pictures, 
We have lots that we use for pictures of our cats. I'm a photographer, so I love taking pictures of our cats, and it's so much fun to dress them up. We always make sure nothing is too tight before we put anything on our cats. And we only leave it on for a few seconds or minutes for pictures, and then we take it off. Toys. You will need lots of toys for your Maine Coon kitten. Maine Coons get bored easily and kittens love to play. Our Maine Coons love interactive toys such as this one from Cat It that involves treats. This toy right here is called a Bergen Turbo Cat Scratcher toy and this was actually one of the first toys we ever bought for our cats and it is amazing. Here are some toys we have from Yao Catnip. This is one of our favorite companies and their toys are really good quality and they're filled with catnip. Here are some cute pyramid toys from Manaomi. These are also really good quality. Here are some soft ball toys. These are nice because they don't make noise when your cats play with them. Here are some cat spring toys. These are really nice and our cats love to pick these up and carry them around the house. These are some cat teaser toys. These are great because all of our cats love these toys and they are so much fun to play with. And if you don't know what toys to buy for your cats, there are monthly cat subscription boxes that give you cat treats and toys every month, such as Meow Box and Kitnip Box. These are some of the toys we have gotten from our cat subscription boxes. And these are not all of our cat toys. These are just some that I pulled out for the video. We have a lot more cat toys in our closet for our cats. Also, be careful with toys that have feathers because Maine Coons like to put things in their mouth, at least ours do, and they can accidentally choke or swallow on a feather. A pet playpen. These are good for when you get a new kitten and they're not used to your house yet. If you're unable to supervise your kitten, then you can put it in a playpen. If you get a playpen, just make sure it has a top so your kitten cannot climb out of it. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope it was helpful.